G'day guys, we're pretty familiar with the supply and demand curves now and how they form a market price through the process of market equilibrium. Now we're going to have a look at how those curves can actually change over time. And we'll start by looking at the demand curve and how shifts can be caused in the curve. So first we're looking at what a shift in the demand curve is and then we're going to identify the factors that can cause a shift in the demand curve. So imagine that this is our demand curve here. We know that for a given point, we can say that for this price level here, we have the following quantity. And we know that if we move down this curve to this new point here, we can say that for some decrease in the price down to here, there was a subsequent increase in the quantity demanded here. So from a movement down the curve, we observe an increase in quantity demanded. If somebody were to say to you that a given product had an increase in demand, you might at first think that this is what they're referring to, a movement down the demand curve which must have been caused by a decrease in price. 